Today's video is going to be all about swim baits and little tips and tricks that will help you catch more fish. And swim baits have become very popular. They come in all different sizes, soft plastic swim baits, hard body swim baits, small, big, you know, and the, the basic principle is to help mimic the exact look of the bait fish that is in your local pond, lake, or river. And they come in shad patterns, bluegill patterns, crappie patterns. And I want to give you some tips that I've kind of picked up on over the years that have helped me either get a better hookup ratio or, you know, entice that bite a little bit better. So we're going to go over a few of the things that I like to do with my typical swim bait setup. And now there's not a whole lot of things you can do with hard body swim baits, but I wanted to show you a couple of things that I do. And the first and most important thing is I like to change those treble hooks out. And what I like to use are must add triple grip treble hooks and usually I'm using that size too. So that's one thing I like to do and you know the other thing you can have someone paint your you know more expensive style swim baits but the main thing is you swap out those treble hooks and the only other thing you can really do is maybe do a paint job. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of move the hard baits out of the way and we're gonna talk mostly about things I like to do with soft plastic or soft body swim baits. Now I'm going to start off with one really cool technique that I learned this past year and I actually heard Mark Zona talking about it and I watched Ot Depot use it to win an Elite Series event and it's a technique that allows you to rig up soft plastic swim baits like these and use a line through technique with a treble hook and that'll really help you with your hookup ratio and it's a really cool little deal here and you use aluminum rivets or any type of rivet and I like to get an assortment box like this that way I've started using various sizes as I go up in size of swim bait I'll use bigger rivets but the basic principle is you start off with a rivet like this and you want to take this little section off and I'll show you how to do it here this is the style that I like to I just like to nail the nail in a piece of wood and then use a pair of pliers to get that rivet off of that nail. Now once you get that rivet off of the nail, you're going to take and insert it right through, I like to go right through the bottom, right here where there's a crease on the bottom of the swim bait, and come straight through the tip of the nose. And what that's going to allow you to do, it creates a passageway for you to run your line through and that's called a line through technique and then you'll tie it on to a treble hook like I've done here you know you can also use a small weight 3 16 or 1 8 ounce tungsten weights what I recommend but then you get as you can see I've the line comes through the swim bait and then you can pull it tight and I like to go ahead and push one of those hooks up in the swim bait and so that bait is going to swim just like that and it'll swim through the water, it'll have that natural look, and it's really going to help out with hookup ratio. Because when those fish bite it, you've got two hooks down here on the bottom that are already exposed, and it'll definitely help out you know, with the increase in your hookups and catching more fish. Alright, and the next thing I like to do with these soft plastic swim baits is give it a set of eyes. And as you can see here, I've put eyes on one of these swim baits and not the other, and you can tell how much more realistic this bait right here already looks just by using a set of eyes. And then the last thing I like to do with these is add a rattle. And you can take, it's got a little pointed tip, I like to use this style rattle, it's just a clear rattle, but it adds that extra little sound, especially on windy days. Now I usually like to take and insert the rattle at the back end of the swim bait to make sure that it's away from the hook. And once you get it in there, you can't see it, fish can't see it, but it gives it that real good rattling sound. So now that we've got the eyes on it, we got the sound from the rattle, the last thing I like to do is add a little bit of scent with garlic and also touch it up with some chartreuse. So on a lot of these little swim baits, I'll add that extra little line going down the side of the bait and it'll really make it pop in the water. It makes it stand out. I love that chartreuse color up underwater. It shines really good. So I'll do that. If you want to do bleeding shad, you can take the red side and go right around the gills a little bit. And that'll add a lot of extra color and smell. So that really increases your chance of getting bit. Not only do you hook up, you get a better hookup ratio, you also add the eyes on the swim bait. 
you add the scent on the swim bait, you add the rattle which gives it the sound, and I'm telling you, all these things combined together will make your swim bait stand out against all the other fishermen, and it'll help you get those bites and the hookup ratio will definitely increase. And one extra little thing here, guys, all the things that I'm using in this video, I'm putting links down in the description. So I like to use, um, for instance, this rivet set. It's an assortment, you know, as I go, I'll, as I change swim bait sizes, I'll I'll use different rivets. So things like that, the eyes, the rattles, everything I've got links down in the description. All right, and one other tip that I get a lot of questions about is if I like to add treble hooks. And on a lot of these baits, they have these bottom little rings here, if you can see that. And I like to add an additional split ring and then a treble hook on the bottom, and that'll really help out because these baits mostly come with just one hook out of the top of the swim bait. But if you add a treble hook on the bottom, it'll definitely help out on that hookup ratio. Now also, you have to think about it, you're going to get hung up more. So if you're fishing open water where you don't have to worry about, you know, dragging it across the bottom, getting hung on wood or anything like that, I would definitely recommend adding that treble hook. Now the key to adding treble hooks really easily is a good set of pliers. And if you can see on the top of these pliers, it has that little hook right there, which will help you add these O-rings. And I'm gonna to try to show you the best way to add them. Now I like to use the owner split rings. Uh, they're my favorite, they hold up really well. And we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get one of these added on. All right, so we're gonna take and use the pliers. We'll get it lined up. Split it just like that. And then we're gonna attach that to our little metal ring down here on the bottom of the swim bait. And you can see I've got it on there now. Sometimes it'll take you a couple times. So the trick is, before you slide the O-ring all the way on, while you've got it partially on there, you want to take and add your treble hook. Just like that. And then use your pliers. This can get a little tricky. But use your pliers to go ahead and spin all the way around. That way you've added your split ring and your treble hook at the same time. And that will definitely increase your hookup ratio on these bigger swim baits. So that's gonna wrap this video up. Just remember, use things like eyes, sound, rattles, scent, like garlic. You make sure to use color to get those extra bites. And then once you get those bites, make sure you've added something like a treble hook a line through that gives you that treble hook option to help capitalize on those bites and make sure you get those fish in the boat. So all of this stuff is linked down in the description. And also, if you haven't been to our website, BamaFrogs.com, we have some holiday boxes where we're grouping things up like swim baits. We'll have a swim bait box, a frog box, a jig box, and they're all on sale and we've grouped everything together to help you shop for Christmas gifts. And also for the next week we're going to have a 15% off Christmas sale going on at Bama Frogs. And you just use the discount code CHRISTMAS at checkout. And Liz and I would like to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. We've got a lot of cool things coming up in 2017 and we hope y'all have a good Christmas and a Happy New Year. And as always, good luck fishing folks. All right. Man, what a fish. Spin around, let me show, let me show, show what you got on. She's fishing a swim bait. <laughs> Look at the size of that fish. Good fish.
You let him go. He's going. Good job.